everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how to create a rainfall map using IDW interpolation method in RGIS Pro so now let's get started so now in the table of content section you can able to visualize our study area boundary file here you can able to see that so now let me show you my rainfall data so this is my rainfall data so we have our uh, FID field and uh, longitude latitude and rainfall for this particular uh, study area so now let me uh, import my uh, rainfall data into RGIS Pro. So for that, we're going to save our Excel uh, file containing rainfall data as a CSV file format. So for that, we're going to navigate to this option called File and Save As. And in that, we're going to browse this uh, folder location where uh, you could like to save your uh, file here. So I'm going to mention as uh, let me uh, select the Save As type to be CSV. So this is CSV. And once you did that, let me uh, mention it as a CSV. And now uh, click save to uh, save this file as a CSV file format. And now once you uh, did uh, did that, we're going to navigate to our RGIS Pro. And here, we're going to navigate to this uh, map section here. And in that, we're going to click this option called add data. And we're going to click this option called XY point data. And now a window pops up saying geoprocessing xy table to point. So here, so I'm going to insert my input my Excel table here that is Excel containing rainfall data. So I'm going to navigate to the folder location where I've saved my rainfall data as a CSV file format. So here you can able to visualize we have uh, two different files here. This is our CSV rainfall data and uh, it is in CSV file format. We're going to click this option here and click OK. So it's going to load our uh, Excel data here and now uh, choose your output file name for this particular uh, rainfall data. So I'm going to select it as a, so I have entered the output file name as rainfall XY table to point. So uh, make sure that you select your X field as longitude and your uh, Y field as a latitude. And now we don't have any Z field and choose your coordinate system. So we're going to select as a current map. Or you can also choose your uh, study area. So this is my study area boundary file. I'm going to select my coordinate system according to this uh, boundary file here. So which is in GCS uh, WGS 1984. So now to convert your Excel table to point, we're going to click this option called run. So it's going to convert our XY table to a point data. And now it is converted our XY table to a point data here. You can able to see that xy uh, rainfall xy table to point and these are the three different station for this particular study area here the rainfall station for the study area and now let us check this out uh, our point data here i'm going to right click and click this option called attribute table so now you can able to view our fid field uh, longitude latitude and rainfall data so let me close this so now uh, we have imported our uh, rainfall data so now let us create our uh, rainfall raster using IDW interpolation method so for that we're going to navigate over geoprocessing windows here so to up for this window we have navigated this option called analysis in that we're going to click this option called tools so once you did that the window will pop up saying geoprocessing and in that we're going to navigate to our spatial analysis tool and in that we're going to select interpolation and uh, we're going to select this tool called IDW we're going to click this tool called uh, IDW and uh, in the parameter section there is an option called input point features so we're going to click this down arrow button here and we're going to click this option called rainfall xy table to point and uh, in the z value field we're going to select our rainfall data and uh, we're going to select our output folder location where you could like to save your file here so you can click uh, click this option and uh, navigate to the folder location where you could like to save your file so i'm going to leave, uh, leave it as the default section here and uh, once you did that, we're going to click this option called environments and in that we're going to select our output coordinate system. So click this down arrow button. So here we're going to select our uh, output coordinate system to match our study area. So that is w, uh, GCS WGS 1984 and next we're going to navigate to the processing extent in that we're going to select our uh, study area and in the mask in the raster analysis section, we have a mask and uh, click this uh, down arrow button and uh, click this option study area so once you selected all necessary fields uh, we're going to click this option called run to create our rainfall raster so it's generating our rainfall raster here 
and we're gonna visualize the result so this is our result this is a rainfall uh, rainfall raster we have created using IDW interpolation uh, method so let me close this so once you created rainfall data navigate to this IDW rainfall raster layer I'm gonna right click and uh, click this option called uh, symbology and now a window pops up saying symbology and in that we're gonna select the number of classes to be five gonna select the number of classes to be five so it's applying the symbology here so you, you, you can also change the color ramp so we can change the color scheme here so let me click this down arrow button and uh, I'm gonna select this particular uh, scheme the color scheme so you can also select the different color scheme for your map here I'm gonna select this one so it's uh, better compared to the previous color scheme so you can able to visualize the different classes here so now we have managed to create our rainfall raster using our uh, IDW tool in RGIS Pro so now let me make uh, a rainfall map now so now I have created my rainfall map uh, using uh, RGIS Pro you can able to visualize the map here so in this video I have shown you how to create a rainfall map using IDW uh, method in RGIS Pro so thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.